Hey guys, um, I just want to share something real quick with you um, about uh, a small miracle that happened to me today um, and how God answered one of my prayers. So before I get into that, let me explain to you one of my biggest challenges right now um, in this walk with God that I've been having ever since I said yes to him about two months ago. <clears throat> and that is lust. In the Bible it says, clear as day, it says, do not lust over, over her body in your mind, for that is adultery. Point blank period. That's it. There's no way around that. So, <clears throat> in this walk with Christ, that has been one of my biggest challenges, one of my biggest... Um, demons that I've been fighting. So, let me tell you how God answered my prayer today at work. So, <clears throat> I deliver stuff. Um, so, I'm on the road and I go to a store uh, that I go to once a week, every week. And I go to the store. Um, we go in the back room um, <clears throat> with the manager and the man, you know, I give the package to them. They give me some stuff and then I leave in this small room. So I went there today and, uh, I was in the back room, uh, waiting for the manager. Now, another woman that works there, um, she's pretty, right? And, um, <clears throat> in this walk with God, I've, I've, every day I've been praying, I've been, I've been, uh, reading the Bible, um, asking God to heal me of this, of this disease, of this sin of lust, of, uh, of looking at other women, right? So, when I'm waiting in the, in the little room, I, uh, I start praying, right? I start praying that, Lord, help me focus on my job. I don't need to look at this woman right now. You know, keep me focused, Lord. Keep my mind and my eyes focused. And um, so there's a little room. I was right by a door to close the door to the, to the small room. Um, and I wanted to close it just so I don't have any distractions. And uh, But there was a wedge at the bottom, uh, so I couldn't. <clears throat> so anyway, so the manager comes. And guys, I've been at this company for eight months, okay? Eight months. And I go to the store once a week, and I'm doing it for eight months. And never has a manager ever closed the door to that small room. Not one time. Today, so the manager comes, I give the manager the package. They, um, but before all that, the manager closes the door. The manager closes the door. And never in eight months has anyone closed that door. But today, the manager closes the door. You know, and as soon as I saw that door being closed, I started laughing. Because that, that was God. That was God answering my prayer. And that was God letting me know that, hey, I hear your prayer. I hear your cry. I hear you. You know? So now this is twice that God has presented himself to me in this walk with him. The first time is with my cousin's death. He gave me total peace. And, and for those of you who are just watching me the first time, um, I made a video about, about my cousin's death. It's called Total Peace. Go check it out. Um, so that was the first time. And then today was the second time that God presented himself to me. By, by, by having the manager close the door. So I would not be distracted. And my minds and my eyes would not wander. In eight months has that door never been closed. Ever. Today for the first time. Because I was struggling and I asked for help. The door got closed. 
you know, it's, <laughs> it's amazing how God works, you know, <clears throat> and it's the little things in life that he does too. Closing a door, that's not a major thing. That's not a major miracle, but it's huge in the sense of him letting me know, hey, I'm listening to you. I hear you. I know your name. I'm here. I'm right beside you. And that, that is powerful. You know, I literally, when, when the manager closed that door, I started laughing. I really did. Um, but I thought, I, I just thought I would share that with you guys. Um, just an update of what God's doing in my life. Um, there's another thing I did want to talk about. Sorry, this video might be a little long. But there is another thing. <clears throat> so, anyone that knows me knows that I love superheroes. I love what superheroes stand for. Um, I love that it's <clears throat> it's good versus evil, right? Wrong versus right. Light versus dark. And um, I was watching YouTube clips of, uh, of just old videos of um, uh, Christian videos of, you know, uh, Jesus' birth, um, his miracles, um, the death. Um, you know, animated, real life, it doesn't matter. I've just been watching short clips and films like that on YouTube. And, uh, there was a, there was a clip to where, um, Jesus got baptized by John the Baptist. And then after that, Jesus went to the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights to fast, um, to get closer to his Father in heaven and prepare his soul for what's ahead. And in this 40 days and 40 nights of fasting, Satan presents himself to Jesus to tempt him three times. <clears throat> and when I would watch these clips of when Satan came out of, the, out of the shadows and presented himself to Jesus, you know, they were facing each other right in front of each other. Jesus versus the devil. Good versus evil. Light versus dark. And that symbolism, that symbol, just Jesus and the devil, eye to eye, right there, right next to each other, looking at each other. You know, that's, that's the hero versus the villain right there. You know, and I just thought that symbol of light and dark was so cool. I really did. I, I thought it was really neat. Um, why the devil thought he could overcome Jesus, that's beyond me. But hey, he tried. But guess what, guys? He failed. The devil failed in, tempt in tempting him. Okay? Jesus won that battle. And he will win against the devil the second coming of Christ. Absolutely win. You know, Jesus proved to us that he's won once against the devil. So we know he's going to do it a second time. So <clears throat> I'll leave you guys off with that. I just thought that was really cool um, when Satan tried to tempt Jesus <clears throat> in, the, in the wilderness. Um, I just thought that was really neat. Um, of the symbolism of, of, of good, of just good and evil, because that's exactly what it was. Jesus versus the devil. Um, and Jesus comes on top. Okay? So I'll leave you off with that. You guys have a great Wednesday. Um, I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.